ability arise in the shame, it's good afternoon time. Like and direct from the YouTube side. Welcome back, I hope everyone's well. This is just going to be a quick one. Um, so we've got a little bit of an update with the guy from me. There's been another statement released. So we'll, I'll, I'll read this out just in case you can't you can't see the screen properly. So it says, hello everyone, this is Debbie again. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for your support, kind messages and good good wishes. It's difficult. It's difficult to wrap our heads around what is happening right now. But we are not losing hope that we'll find Jay and return home together. We are currently working with GoFundMe to withdraw part of the funds which are being safely held. I wanted to share that these funds will be used to support the mountain rescue teams who are tirelessly searching for Jay. Additionally, since our stay in Tenerife needs to be extended, we will also use the funds to cover accommodation and food expenses. I am surrounded by wonderful people who are by my side, but far from their loved ones. So we will be also been using part of the funds to fly them to Tenerife so they can support each other during these dark times. Thank you again for all your donations and support. This means the world to us. Now, there's a couple of things that I'm still not, still not understanding and I don't know how anybody can actually... You know, the phone being on 1%, like everybody knows like a lot of my comments everybody knows that your phone doesn't work on one percent and if it does it, it it will only stay on for so long like some phones don't even receive phone calls on one percent some of them actually like tell you like when it gets to one percent it'll say can't you know you can't access this can't access that because the battery's too low um, most phones go into like a battery saver mode, don't they, and stuff like that. So that's one thing that I'm not understanding. The second thing is why they're letting people fly home so quickly. Even the friends, you know, I would have, I would have at least kept them at least a week. Keep them in there, keep them in Tenerife for a week after, you know, so that you can at least interview them if you need anything, any other information off them, they're not in another country. I just think it would have been a better idea to keep keep people there. Um, it, it's a very strange one, isn't, isn't it? You know, I do hope the boy turns up safe and well, you know, but it just isn't looking like that now, not day 11. So I've got a little clip of... Mark William Thomas is a little bit of an interview we give yesterday, so I'm going to put that on, and then that's going to be it for, that's going to be it for today. Well, for this video, so I'll put this on, and then I'll see you next time. Still live with the hope that Jay will return and that he is not safe but still alive. But I've come over here to investigate. They have sat with me and they have provided me with an in-depth insight into what has happened in the hours leading up to Jay's disappearance. I have to date been able to speak to a large number of witnesses uh, who were with him or uh, came across him during that period of time and they have all been helpful. There are two key people to date that, we have not, that I have not spoken to and these are the two men that took Jay back to that holiday rental in the hills. Those two men have spoken to the police, but they are now back in England. People are as key as you say they are, Mark. What do you make of the fact that they've been allowed to return to the UK? I think the problem is, is that the starting point of this investigation for the Spanish authorities has been one of a missing person. I don't know whether that has increased or whether it's decreased. Uh, from a starting point, if this was in, a, it was in the UK, I would have started investigating as a critical incident and I'd have done everything so that you can secure the crime scene, the potential crime scene or the last location and then of course you can come back down. Once you've lost evidence, you've lost evidence. Uh, they are back in the UK. They may, out of freedom, come back if the Spanish authorities ask them, 
but at this present moment in time, I haven't had the opportunity to talk to them. I can talk about you know, other witnesses who are instrumental. There's lots of names being mentioned. Those people are cooperating fully and have said that at any stage, if the authorities want to come back to the UK, to Spain, they will do. The Spanish authorities are doing what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. The Spanish authorities have obviously rejected the help from the Lancashire Police. Lancashire Police have been very supportive of the family, have provided a direct contact and Lancashire Police have said that at any stage the Spanish authorities want their help, they will be here and they will help and they certainly have the experience to be able to do that but the Spanish Police at this present moment in time have said we do not want your help at all and of course as a direct result of that they would see me as an extension of that, they're not happy that I'm here. I would say put pride to one side. This is about finding Jane. We need as many people as possible to get involved. And I would urge as another appeal, not just to those two people, there are people out here who know more. There are people out here who have information, who have seen Jay, who had contact with Jay whilst he was here. If you were in those clubs on that evening or in the early hours that morning, please come forward and tell us. You may be reluctant to pass that information to the police, but please use a hotline that will circulate so that people can give us that information. Uh, it's the two options. He has either come to harm himself as a result of moving away from the area. So it's either, I'm not, I do not believe that he is in that close proximity to the rental. It's a very easy area to search. If he has come to any harm, it's either the other side of the, beauty, the um, lookout point, or it's a bit further down towards the town. It's one of those areas here. And obviously the longer it goes on and the more days that pass, and the continued search, because the police are searching very, very well. They've got mountain rescue, there's lots of people up there. Uh, he will be found. If he's not found, then of course it brings that third element, that other element, which is the third party. Um, I have received information. There is no doubt an underworld here. There is an undercurrent here. There is a big drugs fraternity. I can't tell you at the moment whether that has an impact. I've only been here for, for, for less than 48 hours. But what I can tell you is the information I currently have, and the family have shared everything with me, and I've got lots of messages, lots of WhatsApp chats and everything, that is a line of inquiry.